Hey, hi, Apit. I hope you're doing well. Yes, I am doing great, sir. Thank you for the asking. Yeah, so Arpit, uh, can you walk me through your profile? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. So my name is Arpit Tiwari and uh, I did my schooling from the new public school Chandigarh and at present I'm pursuing BTEC from uh, AKTU University specializing in computer science and engineering. So over the time I have developed many skills like Python and its different libraries which are using in the field of data analytics and uh, so apart from that, uh, I also have a knowledge of uh, tools like Power BI and Advanced Excel. So uh, you're familiar with SQL as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay, done. Perfect. So um, I think why into data analytics again? So actually, sir, uh, like in the first or second year, I was I was very confused. But uh, then I thought, sir, like I uh, as a student, I love to like play with data. Like I just I just want to data more insight, like, uh, take out all the insights from the data and make it more perfectly and more beautiful so that the normal people can understand it. Okay, all right. So uh, yes. after being a final year student, uh, have you done any internship so far? Yes, actually, sir, till now I haven't done any internship. I'm just searching for that. Like I'm just applying continuously. And is waiting for the uh, opportunity, sir. All right, then. So, uh, uh, Arpit, uh, let me know one thing. Uh, that how would you rate yourself on a scale of ten when it comes to a SQL? SQL, sir, I would rate sir six point five. Six point five. So let's go ahead with SQL again. All yes, right. Yes, sure. Um, my first question is, how would you optimize a complex query that takes a long time to execute? Sorry, sir. I didn't understand. My question is, uh, how would you optimize a complex query that takes a long time to execute? So, uh, I'm not uh, not able to. Okay. Uh, Fine. So, what is the difference between inner join and left join? Yes, sir. So, so, so in the inner join, uh, we can like the all the common rows we uh, we uh, get to know. And uh, what was second? What's the second? Okay. So what was second join? So first one is inner join. And left join. Yes, sir. in the left join, sir, all the data, all the rows that from from the uh, the left side uh, tables, we uh, common of uh, common from that rows, we remove, uh, we take those uh, rows. Okay. Can you elaborate with an example? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. So uh, if we talk about the inner join. So inner joins is just like uh, you can say, uh, uh, like uh, both the, the common rows from the both tables, like table one and table two are there. So the common rows from table one, table two will be uh, taken uh, from the inner join. And say in the left join, uh, we can say that uh, so, uh, the rows, I mean the columns, which from the, uh, the left, side, left side table, uh, we use that. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yes, I think so, sir. Okay. Uh, I just explain the concepts of data normalization. Data normalization, sir. Are you aware the... of one NF, two NF, three NF? Yes, sir. So I understand. I studied it, but right now I'm not able to recall that. Okay, no worries. So, how do you prevent SQL injections attack in queries? Sorry, sir. Any solution to that. Able to record? No, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, what do you understand by the term where clause? Sorry? Where clause. Where clause? Yes. Sir, I haven't uh, like heard this. Part. Okay, no worries. Um, perfect. So, uh, coming to Excel again. Okay. How would you rate yourself on a scale of 10? 12. On a scale of 10. How would you rate yourself? So six point five, sir. Uh, right now, sir, I'm just uh, you can say beginner. I'm just uh, like learning in the uh, serial voice, and I would rate myself with a six point five in the skill. Uh, Excel, Excel, Excel. Uh, so in Excel, I would rate uh, for you can say five or point five or six. Okay, perfect. So uh, when it comes to 
making creating a dynamic dashboard in excel using yes sir how would you create it using pivot tables and slicers yes sir such so, uh, first thing that i uh, like uh, import the data from with uh, where uh, either from kaggle or different uh, websites that i will just collect the data and the second step i'll just remove all the duplicates all the null values and all these things from that particular uh, data and after cleaning and after doing or uh, transform the data uh, i will just uh, upload all data in the pivot table and uh, with the help of pie charts and different uh, data uh, visualization tools i will just uh, make those data in uh, uh, just make a dashboard of all those data okay okay uh... So, uh, can you explain how to perform a Monte Carlo simulation in Excel? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't. I'm not able to recall that. Okay. So, uh, how do you automate repetitive task in Excel using VBA? VBA. VBA. Visual Basic for Applications. Yeah. So, uh, so, so please repeat, sir. How would you automate repetitive task in Excel using BB? Still now, sir, like I haven't used that. Okay. What are array formulas? Arrays. Array formulas. Yes. The uh, array formulas in the uh, Excel. 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 Okay. Sorry, sir. Okay. So, how do you use conditional formatting to highlight trends and outliers in data sets? So conditional outliners, uh, in particular, like uh, all data, yes. Yes, sir, sir, data that I have. So uh, first thing that uh, I'll just uh, compare all those data, like if and uh, uh, switch all with the help of all, uh, with the help of that, I will uh, co compare all those data. And then uh, accordingly, I'll just uh, continue to making a, in, in the dashboards. Okay. So, um, okay. Uh, that's from my end and uh, coming to power bi again so how would you handle rls in power bi reports uh, sorry sir how would you handle row level security in power bi reports yes sir so, so after like making the dashboard after completing my dashboard i'll just when i uh, just submitting all the data to the my team so uh, with that, uh, I'll just finding out all the like security lists uh, that whether it uh, things that I can show my show my the team members or not. Uh, can you explain me the difference between calculated columns and measure in Power BI? Arbit? Yeah, yes, yeah, sure. So, uh, in the calculated column, uh, for example, we have uh, a, uh, you can say the total month and total salaries so we want the total so we can multiply uh, total salaries into the month and we uh, get new column which is you can, you can say total uh, of that particular thing and so in the measure uh, so measure is basically uh, we uh, use uh, that if can, if we can say the sum of total uh, month or sum of total uh, salaries so we can say that it is uh, comes under the measure well, do you know how to track and improve Power BI report uh, performance using performance analyzer, Arpit? No, sir. Sorry. Okay. How do you implement drill through functionality in Power BI report? Can you recall? No, sir. I, I'm not going okay. to call that. Just tell me the different types of Power BI filters and how would you manage them? So Power BI filters, right? In, yes. what, con uh, in what context? Sorry, I mean, sir, Power BI filters like a, uh, there are many filters. So, in what context you are asking, sir? Uh, different types of Power BI filters. Uh, power different Power BI filters. So like, uh, suppose uh, I have a data. So, first thing that uh, uh, if we can talk about filters. So, uh, uh, yes. I'm just not able to recall that. Not in sure. Okay. So how well are you in Python? So it... py... Yes, Python. Yes, I say in Python, so I have done uh, different libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and the Seaborn. I okay. have worked on... Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect. So how do you use Pandas to perform group by operations and aggregate data? Yes, I'll say like uh, in the Panda, when I have a data, 
like suppose I have a data from the Kaggle. So uh, when I want to add uh, like uh, in the Panda, uh, I will have to load the, the, those data uh, to make dashboard. So just transform, uh, you can say that, uh, uh, just I will just transform those data from the like different websites. Are you sure on that? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, Arpit, just tell me the basic difference between NumPy and Panda libraries in Python. Yeah, sir, sure, sir. So like in the pandas, uh, we can uh, say in the Num NumPy is basically the advanced version of the arrays. Like it, it com compute the different arrays operations. Uh, and but in the pandas, we, we transform the data, we load the data uh, from the different like uh, for example, we want we have data from the CSV form or Excel form. So with the help of pandas, we load uh, load those data into our like uh, dashboard, uh, into our any uh, tools. Okay. So uh, how do you handle missing values or null values? You know, handle yeah. handling missing or null values in large data sets while using in pandas. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure, sir. Sir, for in like as I told you. Uh, in the first step, when I upload those data from in, into my that uh, uh, dashboard, so first thing is that I'll use Dropna, which is a, like uh, the things that remove all the uh, duplicates, value, and null values immediately without uh, does not matter that how big that data are. Yeah. Uh, uh, my last question. Okay. How do you apply machine learning models using scikit-learn in Python for predictive analysis? So, till now, I'm just uh, going forward for to, to learn the, this particular thing. Right now, so I have uh, just uh, I was just uh, go through going through the that uh, data analytic part. Now mm -hmm. I'm just going through the different machine learning techniques that are using in the like data science. Okay. So um, Arpit, tell me. Uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years? So in the next five years, uh, I'll just uh, uh, see myself uh, leading the teams of different innovative projects. And uh, with the help, and apart from that, uh, I'll just, uh, so in a particular company, I'll just uh, giving training to the new uh, freshers that are coming in the, coming in the company. And uh, that company can uh, make me a trustworthy employer for for the future, uh, in the, for the future next upcoming uh, years. All right. Uh, so I'm done with the interview part. Uh, thank you, Arpit. So thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. So let's have a feedback session. I have a feedback for you as well. Okay. So what I found in this interview is um, your introduction part was good. Okay. Um, and uh, you should have mentioned a one line of uh, you know one line on your parents. Right. Yes, sir. And uh, any key achievement, it may be from technical or non-technical part, any key achievement you should include. All right. Yes, and sir. Coming back to technical part, you have to rigorously work on all the four tools. Okay. When it comes to data analytics, okay. Technical has to be very strong. Okay. And uh, communication part, your presentation was okay. Not that good, not that bad. Body posture, you have to sit you know, straight. While you're giving an interview, yes, you have to sit straight. And yes, eye, eye contact was also okay. But uh, you were struggling to phrase a sentence. Okay. Please note. Okay, you're struggling to phrase a sentence. Yes, sir. And uh, using correct grammars is very much mandatory when it comes to speaking. Okay. And uh, yes, pronunciation was fine. And uh, tone was not that high. And uh, yes, one more thing I analyzed, uh, Arpit. Now, while you're speaking, okay, please go very slow. Okay. I mean, yes. normally while speaking, please don't go very fast or uh, it, it makes us con inconvenient to understand what you are speaking. All right. Yes, sir. sure. And uh, looking at your resume, your resume profile structure is has to be a bit more uh, revamped. And uh, as you have mentioned your LinkedIn, it's okay. Fine. So resume part, I'll suggest to give a revamp on your profile structure. All right. Yeah, that's all from my end, Arpit. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, sir.